Good afternoon. This is going to be the last commentary I do for a while. Uh, I've got some other things coming up. Um, a video about socialism, a video about our education system, and other topics along those lines that I'm going to have to do some research and actually edit them, make them look like a, you know, real YouTube video as opposed to this. But anyways, since today was uh, Biden's inauguration, I just wanted to put in this last thing concerning what we've been dealing with and what we will continue to deal with. The Q axis, QAnon, MAGA, the Proud Boys, and Boogaloo believed wholly or parts of that Trump and certain military brass would make mass arrests of Democrats and Hollywood elites, and this goes back almost four years. This never happened. They believed Trump would win the election in 2020. This didn't happen. They believed that because of the red mirage, Trump would claim he won before all votes were counted and that would magically work. That didn't happen. That courts would overturn electors or various other court interventions would keep Trump on. That didn't happen over 50 times. That Republican governors or election officials would throw out votes or electors. That the Supreme Court would somehow rule in Trump's favor on something. That congressional objections would overturn electoral votes. That Pence would illegally save the day that an insurrection in the Capitol would install a purely Republican government, that on inaugural day some miracle involving the military or God or maybe even Russia would keep Trump president. None of these things happened. You'd think with a record of failure like that, the Q-axis would give up their freaky beliefs. They won't. I thank you for watching. Um, before I go, I want to let everyone know I'm having a contest. Uh, the first person to click on everything below and contribute to my Patreon wins. And again, I thank you for watching. And if you didn't watch, well, what's wrong with you, man? All right, talk to you soon.